Welcome back everybody, A Pink Lemon here. I'm back and I'm here with the newly released Unicorn Sting 560 gear point. What's that? Unicorn Sting released last month and I missed it? Crap. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's get straight into it. Um, Unicorn Sting looks fantastic. It's so nice to have another Unicorn Bay after Striker, and it's so cool to have a white color scheme. It really complements the metal uh, and the pinks on it. Honestly, I hope we just get a holy pink bay. Um, and Unicorn Sting's whole deal is its gimmick double style. Uh, it is a right spinning bounce type owned by Uni Namba in the manga and anime, who's supposed to be some kind of fashionista, and oh boy, with that haircut, yep, you're in fashion all right. Um, but one side of the blade has this rough, jagged shape, and the other side of this blade has this smooth, curved shape, so one side attacks and one side defends. Obviously, we have 560, and we have uh, one of the latest gear bits, gear point, which is different to point, surprisingly. It has uh, some mold differences that we'll talk about. Um, so, with that being said, let's just get straight into it and open this thing up. And bam! Here we have it, Unicorn Sting. 560 gear point and I gotta say oh this bay is pretty I thought it was a white color scheme but it's actually closer to this more um translucent bluish like I want to say toothpaste but like not in a bad way um color scheme because we can already see if we get a look at the blade here our new blade um the titular unicorn sting Let's see if we can get it out of the pack real quick uh, you can see on the gear chip, it has, um, it's, it is sort of this off bluish white, um, which complements the metal really nice. I really like the white color scheme because I think it always goes so well with the wet, uh, the metal bits, which, um, you know, other colors don't always do. Um, and oh my god, while this is shiny, this is beautiful. It's got those fantastic gear hooks from this series, and you can see that jagged edge here's the side profile of that jagged edge and this smooth edge and although this says it's double style like one side attacks one side defends you can see from the curves on this that both these sides are still are going to be excellent at upper attack regardless of how they're designed for attack or defense uh, from you can see that beautiful slope it's got there um fantastic what a blade next up is our Ratchet, nothing special here, just 560, but a really nice white 560 with that blue translucence to go with the blade. Um, it fits really well, and honestly, this is just a really pretty 560. Honestly, the prettiest one we've got so far. And finally, for new parts, we have Gear Point, which is different to point because the, as you can see here, if I can get it close enough to the camera, uh, that the little ball on Gear Point as opposed to point, uh, I, which I can't show you, it's a very minor thing, but it protrudes more than the uh, little ball on point, which means it's going to be less aggressive than point, weirdly enough, despite it being a gear bit. So it's going to be more prone to going back to the center, unlike point where, you know, you can sort of really hard launch it and it'll just go straight onto that flat edge. Uh, gear point's going to be a bit more stable, uh, which is nice. And uh, I think, honestly, this might just be an upgrade from point, or they might just have two different uses. We'll find out. So let's put this bad boy together, blade onto Ratchet, bit into Ratchet again, <laughs> and bam, that is Unicorn Sting 560 Gear Point. This is a, honestly, a masterpiece of a bay. All the colors go together really well. It's, it's honestly, majestic is the perfect word to describe this bay, and I think it's the perfect word because not only is it a unicorn, but also just like the colors and everything fit together so well. It's such like a, almost like a lo-fi color scheme. You know, it's not, it's not screaming in your face with the colors, but it's still beautiful regardless. And it's so nice to have another unicorn bay because, um, you know, Striker and Blitz Striker and Ray Striker is awesome from Metal Fight and stuff. And I cannot wait to see how this performs because with this double style thing, because, you know, bays spin so fast you never know which side you're gonna get and i love a good gamble so with that being said we're going to uh quickly test unicorn sting uh in a little test battle let's see how well it does on to the stadium and bam here we are at the stadium with our newly unboxed unicorn sting and we're going to be doing a quick test battle so a first to four against phoenix wing a fellow member of team yggdrasil and two gear bits going up against each other let's do this and in goes Unicorn Sting, 
And in goes Phoenix Wing. And you can already see here that uh, Gear Point already way more passive than regular Point when launched, but that flat bit wasting all its stamina on the X-Dash, but it has managed to get Phoenix Wing off balance, and I think the Point might come in clutch here. It doesn't. Unicorn Sting again, you can see. Oh, here we go. It's doing the thing, but regular Point normally would just go straight in. But you do see that Unicorn Sting is still great at X-Dashing thanks to the gear part of Gear Point, but unfortunately it bursted, and so that is a total of three points to Phoenix Wing. All right, Unicorn Sting's last chance. It has to beat Phoenix Wing in this battle. Let's see how well the balance aspect of the blade can do. Will that double style come in handy? It's already good at dodging. Phoenix Wing's wasted all that stamina. Yeah, and you can already see that the, the gear portion of Gear Point is gonna let it maneuver well around the stadium after getting hit and go in for those aggressive counters. All right. Still match point for Phoenix Wing. Let's see what Unicorn Sting can do. Oh, it looks like it's gonna get hit with X-Dash. Ooh, and it still gets knocked out. So, that was our quick uh, test battle and unboxing of Unicorn Sting, as we saw in those battles against Phoenix Wing, even though it lost, Gear Point definitely has some great potential when it comes to being a better counter-attacking bit than regular Point. The gear lets it X-Dash plenty, and that little bit extra precision on the Point in the center lets it conserve more stamina. I'm still a bit dubious about this double style thing going on with Unicorn Sting's blades, as it just doesn't seem to have the weight or the lack of recoil enough to be defensive, but both of the blades have enough curve and are round enough that this could be a useful uh, in a high stamina upper attack combo, so we'll just have to see. Let me know what you guys think of Unicorn Sting in the comments and what kind of custom combos you'd like to see in the future. I might make a video on them. Uh, and until next time, I've been a Pink Lemon. Make sure you guys subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and I hope you have a great day.